Okay, guys, here we go again. So we're to the next point. Um, we've, again, following you up. The last video showed us oiling the underside of the main bearings. And this part of the video is just continuing on with showing you the top side of what we're doing in terms of putting assembly lube on everything here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the number two cap here. And there is one thing that I neglected to mention and I should throw in here just in case anybody else is wondering. If you're looking at this, you see how there is a tang on that side, that kind of keyway, and then there's a tang on this side. Um, that's how these bearings should go together, tang to tang. Um, and it is very important uh, that you note they come stamped. And before you take this motor apart, you really, if yours happens to not be stamped, you need to make sure that you stamp. You can see how we've taken a punch and we've put a one dot, two dot on this guy, and then three dot, four dot, five dot. So we, we did our own numbering system on it. Um, we didn't have to. It's just force of habit because some of the other motors haven't had that. But anyway, that's just a, a little refresher there in case you're building one of these. Um, this is the oil cooler side so i'll show you oil cooler side over here water inlet um, exhaust manifold will be on this side um, and the numbers are on that side so one here is facing the engine oil cooler that sounds very like kindergarten-ish but you'd be surprised you pull one of these things out in a hurry and you'll be very grateful to have that info um, to kind of give you a refresher. So tang to tang down here, right down there, we want tang to tang. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, I'm going to grab this guy, I'm going to flip him over, and then I'm going to put, so in order to accomplish this without killing myself, I'm going to go ahead, take the bolts out so I don't have to try to fight with myself. So then I'm going to take... And I'm going to grab our Ultra Slick. Ooh, you know what? This is a good one. Okay, so we've got our Ultra Slick on here. We're going to ooze that puppy around. Like we said, we don't want any of the salt from our hands on here. So I'm going to actually go ahead and grab our handy dandy gloves. You'll notice going to be quite the feat putting it on one handed so I'm going to pause this video and I'll come back with a glove on all right so we're back we've got our gloves on and I want to make sure there's full coverage in here so I'm going to take this it kind of wants to settle down in the bottom I'm going to take this and make sure there's good coverage on it and then I'm going to take this and for good measure this is way overkill you ask why do you overkill so much because I can this is going back in here just like this. Oh, help if I pointed it down some. Okay, so we're dropping it down in there. And we're just going to look for when it seats. There we go. All right, so I grab my bolts. Right there. Okay, and then we're going to move on to the next one. So we're going to grab the next one. Pull my bolts out. Stick them out of my way. These have been pre-cleaned. These do not have any more plastic gauge on them. There's no crap on them. They've been sitting waiting for this on a clean paper towel. Um, they've just been waiting for this. Okay, so keep everything clean. Look at how sticky that stuff is. It's awesome. Okay. Again, overkill. Run it down the center. So this is got our numbers towards the oil cooler. Let's get that thing seated. Ah, there's the post. They're starting to line up. Push it into place. Grab our bolts. On to the next one. Okay, so I think you probably got the idea here. So once we get this done, just to give you 
an idea. So once we get this done, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and torque these things down, the, the main bearing bolts. So we're going to go ahead and take this guy, um, get all the caps in place. And we're going to torque them down in sequences. Now this is following the manual. This is not full following the torque plus angle. Um, but I have, we've done enough of them with just straight old, uh, 4488 129 is what the book specs on this. And if you look around the internet, you'll find that same sort of thing. Um, you can also go look up the torque plus angle method. Um, that's also totally fine if that's how you want to do it. We haven't had a problem. Uh, you know, the main bearings on these guys don't seem to be what come apart unless you really botch something and like forget to put it in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause here for a second and then when I come back, I should have the rest of these caps in and I'll show you the torque pattern uh, that we're going to torque it down with. All right, so we're back <clears throat> and this is a little bit before we're going to our torque sequence, but... What I wanted to show you is, so this is how we were doing it before. You know, I grabbed the, um, when I'm using two hands, I grab the ARP in my right hand, I put the cap in my left, and that way you can kind of rotate it and get the distribution of the assembly lube, uh, I guess, more even. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I spread it out with my finger and then go ahead and, and run a center bead back down in there. But what I did want to show you guys real quick, and, and this we found on our other one. Again, we go for overkill on everything. It's a blessing and a curse. So we did before on our other, the motors that are in the black hole and the 12 valve, we put it on the cap, we put it on the bearing, we put it everywhere, and what you get is ultra lube on ultra slick, sorry ultra slick on the floor and that is probably a waste but if it floats your boat go ahead and you know just put assembly lube on everything because it's most likely going to squeeze out but it's better if it is got too much rather than too little okay so now we're going to grab our last two caps um and so what I wanted to show you here is, and you can find this online if it makes more sense that way for you to have a picture, but you're just basically going to work a pattern on these guys, um, and it's a lot like the head stud pattern. So you can just take it and run outwards all the way across until you end, and you should end up front. So this is the number four. So I'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait a second. Let's start that over again. I got on the wrong cap because I'm staring at the video screen here. One, two, three, four. Wow. Let's try that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So that would be the sequence that we do. We just run a pattern as we're tightening those down. And again, the the I think it's probably the Hanes or the Chilton. You can find them all over the world. It says 44 and 88, 129 feet pounds of torque for these guys. And you run them down in steps. Um, I don't like going quite that much gap, so I usually do 44 and then I split it. So I'll do 44, split the difference to 88, then go up to 100, and then go up to the 129. I know it's kind of ridiculous, but it just makes me feel better. And that's what we do to try to keep... We're going for longevity around here. Anything that we can do to spot an extra error or to help us make this motor last longer, produce more power, we generally just give it a whirl. All right, so that is going to be our main bearing cap segment. And next is going to be our plastic gauging of the rod journals. So that'll be fun. It's coming up next.